How to do eyelash extension on your own. Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Edith and welcome to Beauty Tips. Now today I'm going to demonstrate to you how can you do eyelash extension on your own. If you want to do eyelash extension on your own, you can try to get this called the lash fee. Lash fee. Now this lash fee, um, it's pretty good. I tried it. Um, when you buy, you can buy in a kit or you can just order everything separately. I'll give you a link to that. Um, you can try this one. It comes with like a glass crystal, um, a clear crystal, um, and it comes with a flexi bond and lashes at different lengths. But of course, when you first order, I think that the length is pretty long. It's around like 13, 14. And uh, it also comes with um, a bond clip so that it just bonds better. For people who are so new, to doing your own lashes, you rather have something that doesn't bond so strong than have a bond that is so strong that um, it will actually make your own real lash falls off at the same time. So my recommendation is to, if you're new to doing eyelash extension, definitely you should stick with the flexi bond because it's more safe and you rather the bond is loose so you can try out how you place the lash play with it play around with it and it's easy more controllable now the other thing that i find out also on internet that you can buy in amazon or in china taobao these are also very good you might see them before it's just a bunch maybe there's like a seven pieces in one so i'll give you a close-up look on this one so it does have like a bunch and it comes with maybe eight millimeters to 12 millimeters now doing your eyelashes it does depends on whether are you an asian or are you caucasian because if you are a caucasian now you have to think do i put makeup if i don't put makeup normally you want natural and what does natural mean natural um, if you are caucasian then i would say from 9 10 11 12 13 millimeters so no no more than 13 millimeters otherwise it's just too much you want to choose also a thinner texture so you would look more natural and if you are asian definitely also depends if you do put makeup or no makeup because normally if you don't put makeup and you just want your eye to look a bit more glow i would choose from eight millimeters to 12 it's really the maximum so something you can buy something like this where they have actually different lengths already so it's more convenient if you choose the lash v1 you can see if you took a closer look they're basically in a line if you can see this I don't know you can see this in a line now the problem about the line one is because our eyes are not so big uh, for Asian people so for these they're a bit too long if you kind of like have to stack them and harder to control to make them in one line I don't know if you know what I mean but I will demonstrate to you one eye using this lash fee and the other eye using you can try something like we call it a fishtail type clean your eye with eye cleanser and i'm going to give you the recipe for the eye cleanser for the glue if you're using a strong glue i recommend you dab it on your hand and you take the eyelashes and dip it into the glue um, this way, I can control how much glue I'm putting on the eyelashes. However, this time I'm using the flexi bond, so you don't have to do it this way. And when I demonstrate on the other side of the eye, I'm going to show you how to apply for the flexi bond. This is only for the strong glue. If you're a beginner, remember to use glue that doesn't dry fast, so it gives you more chance to fix. You use a micro tip to assist yourself 
lifting up the eyelids. Um, if you don't have a micro tip, um, you can choose a Q-tip is also okay. You can buy these micro tips, especially for eyelash extension. I believe in Amazon they also have. I can give you a link on that. Basically, I'm just using the microfiber tip to lift up my eyelashes and then placing the fake lashes underneath my real eyelashes and try not to touch the eyelid um, just only on the eyelash very close to the eyelid but not touching i'm using 12 millimeters on the very side and now as i work away into the head of the eye and in the middle i will change it to 11 millimeter although the millimeters is only a little bit difference but um, when you do adjust the length along the way, it looks much more natural. And the reason I choose um, not so long is because when it's actually shorter, they look more volume. But um, if you do it very long, you probably need to fill it in more to make it more volume. But if you already start using not too long of a length, um, just placing them together, it looks more volume. So again, in here, I also have 11th. And then you can just use your tips to kind of hold it and check if everything is in place and make sure it's in the correct way how you want them to be. Now for the front, normally I used more of an eight and a nine. I'll use an eight. So it's more better and natural. So it's always better to have different lengths when you do it and think of how you want to place them. And sometimes you can make it more volume um, by filling it more, but when you fill in the gaps, it's always good to use a shorter length just to fill in all the other gaps because it will look much, much nicer. And as you see, I'm trying to make it a little bit more volume and I'm gonna use also an eight or a nine to fill in the middle. Okay, especially in the front, definitely you want shorter, so you don't want it to be too long. And always remember that to try not to touch your eyelid, only on your eyelash. So you can see this eye is already done compared to the other side. For the other side, I will clean again using the eye cleanser. And this time I'm going to use the Flexi Bond from Lash Fee. For this one, this bond is so soft that you can just directly apply it onto your eyelashes. After you apply it, just wait for it to dry, but not dry totally. Wait until it's a little bit tacky before you place the lashes and it will last much longer. So you just make sure that every eyelash that you want to apply actually have some of the flexi bond on it and wait for a little bit until it's around not so tacky. And then you can just apply the lashes right underneath. Remember not to touch your eyelid but only on the eyelash. And you can just kind of use your clip or tips to make sure that it's still holding on. And then you can just keep applying your lashes. I start with a 12 and I'll continue maybe only for two, two 12 and then I'll move on to 11th or 10 in the middle. Because I'm using the Lash Free Eyelashes and their lashes itself, it's more longer. 
um, it comes in a longer bunch so you you can kind of refill it to make it more volume but it will be too heavy for my eye so normally i will just do one line going across instead of doubling it or add more layers to it and um, so i move on to the 10 millimeters and then i'll move on to the eight millimeters or nine so therefore, if you're going to use this Lash Fee Lashes, you need to use their Bond Fuse at the end. Um, there's a little tweezers that you can clip your lashes together with the Bond. So if you're using the Lash Fee ones, you have to use that um, so that it stays better. And also, if you're using the Lash Fee ones, you need to put the glass crystal at the very end just so that to protect the bond in between your lashes and your eyes. And then you just apply that onto your eyelash and it's done. This side is done with the Lash Fee eyelashes, more expensive, and this side is done with the China eyelashes, which is much more cheap. Can you tell the difference between both sides? Or they look the same? So here it is. This side is done with the lash fee and the other side is done with another type of an eyelash. Now, it really it's, it's really personal preference. Um, I normally doesn't put a strong makeup, so I do like a shorter length and a more I can make it more volume with a smaller um, contact point so this is how I like mine so it's really personal preference of which side you would prefer so it's just a little sharing for today and I hope you like my video and I hope this video actually helps you how to decide what kind of eyelash you want to do for your DIY if you do like my video please give a like on my video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my video so I'll see you next time bye